very good morning to everyone we are here with yet another session and collaboration with healing level and this session and this collaboration will be more interactive and more useful for everyone who will watch this session and it is conducted by bhumika ja who is finally a student of bnys from sdm college ujjre karnataka she is having much more different approach towards yoga and naturopathy she have conducted many non government organization classes and taking camps in many other places and she has done multiple works in modern health problems and their solutions to find out through yoga and naturopathy so this session of spinal health will be so useful for all of you we hope this collaboration and this work of a basic work of r will be very useful for everyone thank you hello everyone in today's session we are going to learn how to shift the focus from the physical level to the mental level and then slowly we will explore the extension of the body at the level of energy as you know that energy in our body flows in and along the spine so in today's session we will focus on the spine and head let's start the session with a prayer our salutations to sage patanjali sit erect join your hands in front of your chest close your eyes yogi na chit पदेन वाचा मल शरीर से वैद्यकोपाकोतम प्रवर मुनीना पतंजलि your eyes close take your hands at the back and slowly while exhaling go down to the mother earth and slowly inhale and come up you may open your eyes we will start with quick loosening we we'll start with the neck you have to exhale and take your chin to the chest and then we'll start the neck rotation first we'll start from the right inhale and take your head up exhale and bring it down from the left let's do it together inhale up from the right and exhale down from the left inhale up exhale down inhale up and exhale down now to the opposite side inhale up and exhale down up and down one last time inhale up and down now the shoulder keep your hands front like this you have to inhale while taking the hands up and once you are bringing the hands down you have to exhale let's do it from up inhale and exhale down inhale up and exhale down inhale up and exhale down now from the front you have to take your hands up while ex inhaling and exhale and bring them down inhale exhale inhale and exhale now we will focus at the sides of the waist for that take your left hand and from the elbow place it on the ground and you have to inhale and take your hand up and then take it to the other side and feel the stretch at the right side and come up go to the other side place your hand right hand at the ground and then take your left hand up and then to the other side and feel the stretch at the left side do it two more times inhale and exhale inhale come up exhale take your hand to the other side 
Once again, inhale, come up and exhale. And one last time, inhale, keep your hand at the ground and exhale. And now we'll do the twist. For that, keep your left hand on your right knee and then your right hand at the center of your back and try to twist. Now take your right hand, keep it on the left knee and then keep your left hand at the back and push your left knee with the right hand and go back. Twist. One more time. To the right and to the left. Now take your right leg and hold like a baby like this. Keep your back straight and now swing a little. This will open your hip joint. All right. Now do it with the left leg, hold like a baby and then swing a little and feel the stretch. Alright, now extend your legs like this, have support of your hand at the back and now you have to lift your leg, bend your knee and bring it closer and extend like this and while doing it do not keep your leg on the ground and this will open up your knee joint okay do it five times all right now we we'll focus on the ankle joints for that extend your leg and then rotate your ankles in clockwise direction and then in the anti-clockwise. Okay. So here we complete our quick joint rotation and now we are going to focus completely on the spine and its manipulations. So I would recommend you to keep your eyes closed throughout the session because we are going to shift the awareness and to be aware you have to have your focus complete focus on your body for that you have to keep your eyes closed i will make sure that all the instructions are clear enough that you can understand even with the closed eyes and but if you uh, at any point of the time if you don't understand anything you can open your eye and then look at the screen and then close your eyes and continue your practice. So this is going to be a flow of some asanas that are going to focus on the spine and head. I will give you the instructions you have to follow and then by the end of this flow you will uh, realize that how much your spine has been manipulated through these uh, asanas so we'll start for that you have to stand stand at your place with your feet together hands by the side of your body and close your eyes slowly inhale and take your hands up from the side of your body take them above your head and there interlock your fingers Slowly inhale and stretch your body upwards and feel the lengthening of the spine. Stretch as much as you can. Then slowly exhale and bend forward from your lower back and try to make a 90 degree angle between your leg and your trunk. And from there slowly exhale and try to keep your hands on the ground and try to touch your head to the knee. Maintain the position and feel the stretch at the back 
From there, slowly keep your hands on the ground and place your knee on the ground. Become a table. And now we will perform the cat and cow stretch. So inhale and stretch your back downwards. And exhale and make an arch of your back and stretch like a cat. And feel the stretch at the lower back, middle back and upper back. Now from there, slowly exhale and come to the Shashankasana and relax in that pose. Breathe normally and feel the stretch. From there, now slowly inhale and come up and then lie down on your stomach. Keep the hands by the side of your body and relax for a few seconds. Relax your shoulders completely. Now, slowly take your hands up in front of your head. We are going to perform the Superman pose. For that, you have to inhale and raise your legs and hands together. Inhale and raise your hands raise and your legs, legs above and the ground. And rest, and rest only, only the stomach, the stomach on, the ground. on the ground. Breathe normally and in this position like a superman. And as you exhale, and feel the down stress on your back the ground. muscles. And relax. relax. And relax. Relax completely. Bring your Bring hands back, the hands back by the side of your body. Side of your body. And relax. Now the next asana now, is the bhujangasana. The bhujangasana. The cobra pose. For that, for that, keep your hands, keep your hands, by, hands the by the side of your chest. Side of your chest. You and as you inhale, inhale slowly and lift your one by head, one, raise your, your head and your chest, neck slowly, chest and up and till the navel. Abdomen. Only till the inhale navel. and raise your head. Keep your elbows flexed. Maintain the pose. Look front. In the normal breathing, feel the stress at your lower back and your shoulders. Breathe normally and as you exhale, come down to the ground and rest your head on the ground and relax. Now, lift your body up Come on on the knees and slowly go to the Shashankasana and walk a little with your fingers to stretch your back more and relax your back. Now slowly inhale and raise your hands, your head and your body. Come to the sitting posture bend backwards and bring your hands down and keep them on the knees relax for a while and then come to the supine posture lie down on your back Lie down comfortably, keep your hands by the side of your body, let your shoulders relax completely on the ground. Now, as you inhale, lift both your legs up to the 90 degree and exhale and bend your knees and bring them closer to the chest. With your both hands, Hug your knees, inhale and lift your head and try to touch it to the knees. This is Pavan Muktasana. Exhale and take your head back. Keep both the hands on the kneecaps and start rotating the knee in the circular motion. Make circle with your knees and feel the massaging effect at the lower back. 
do it anti clockwise and feel the relaxation of the lower back once you finish the circles once again stretch your legs upwards and slowly as you exhale bring your legs down on the ground and relax for a few seconds and feel the changes at the back now bend at your right and left knee bring the feet closer to the butt hold the ankles with your hand we are going to do the setu bandhasana slowly inhale and lift your buttocks your waist and rest your body on the shoulders and feet the setu bandhasana strengthens the back muscles feel the changes and slowly exhale and come back and rest your body on the ground and come back to the relaxing posture relax for a while and feel the changes occurring in your body now bend at your left knee turn to the right side and slowly with help of both hands get up and sit in ardh padmasana now keep both the hands on the knee cap and inhale completely make your back straight and look up and stretch your neck now slowly exhale and bring your chin closer to the ground bend from the lower back and try to touch the head on the ground now we will practice the spinal rotation for that slowly inhale and start moving your head from the right to the back and then slowly from the left side bring it down to the ground and like this way make circle with the head this rotates all the segments of the vertebral column do it very slowly and with the breathing as you go up slowly inhale and as you come down slowly exhale and then do it in the opposite direction slowly go up from the left and then exhale and come down from the right inhale and go up from the left and exhale and come back to the ground from right do it slowly relax for a while and feel the heaviness in your head now relax your body and feel the changes at the vertebral column and spine the gush of blood towards head once you are relaxed come to the vajrasana as we are going to start the head and face yoga sit comfortably in vajrasana now we are going to focus on the face and head so let's start with a smile we'll start with the jaw inhale completely and exhale and then widely open your jaw as much as you can and then close it 
widely open and then close this exercises our temper of mandibular joint and removes the stiffness now you have to move your jaw sideways left and right do it slowly sideways now you have to make a beak of your lip and then smile make a beak and smile this moves your cheek muscles now twist your tongue in the mouth and press it against the palate press it and feel the stress at the neck do it for a few seconds and now fill your mouth with air make it tight and then move the air in your mouth and feel the stretch of the cheek now you have to inhale completely and then release the air from your mouth and make the sound this will give a vibrating effect to your cheek and your lips and will increase the blood flow now tighten your eyes squeeze your eyes and then relax squeeze your eyes and relax make them tight and relax now we'll do the eye exercises look to the right and left right and left then up and down look up and slowly down now you have to rotate the eyeball slowly rotate your eyeball in clockwise direction and then in the anti clockwise direction try to do it with the closed eyes now arch your eyebrows raise them up and then shrink them down raise them up and then down once again up and down now pinch your jaw line with your index finger and thumb and then press your jaw with your palm press the jaw line now take your fingers and press the neck walk your fingers on the neck and the nape of neck and give a massage to your neck press it from the back to the front with the light pressure do a massage of your neck do it with a smile and eyes closed now take your index finger and press the zygomatic arch of your face the cheekbone press it from the temporal side of the face to the nose press it with two fingers then three fingers and then four and feel the pain press it gently now with index finger press the sides of the nose move your finger by the side of your nose slowly and pressing it now pinch your eyebrows with your index finger and thumb from the medial side to the lateral side there are many acupressure points here keep the thumb on your eyes and stretch them sideways once again pinch your eyebrows 
and then with the thumb stretch your eyes laterally now keep your index finger at the glabella the point between your eyebrows and press do it with the closed eyes and feel the changes press it gently now start making circular movement at that point clockwise and then anti clockwise do it 3 times each way now take away the finger an inch apart from the glabella and then and then bring it closer but do not touch take your finger away and bring it closer and feel the energy at that point now keep the finger away and do the circular movement and feel the churning of the energy at that point slowly make the circular rounds and feel the energy first in the clockwise direction and then in the anti clockwise direction do it slowly and feel the energy your head is covered with energy now take your index finger and place them on the eyeball and then slowly make the circular movement of the eyeball do it very gently and with light pressure do it in both clockwise and anti clockwise direction and relax now make fist of your hand and tap the head tap the head from front to back and this activates all the segments of brain do it with gentle pressure tap the head now with both palms press your head from both sides press the head and relax now we will make the makara sound for so that inhale completely and make the humming bee sound once again inhale slowly lie down on your back and relax as you relax on the ground your whole body is resting on the ground every time you inhale you inhale the freshness the positivity and the energy and when you exhale you exhale the pain the negativity and the problems all the asanas you have done have activated each and every segment of your spine and now you feel healthier stronger and happier inhale completely and relax you are shining like a star filled with energy you are emitting the positive energy from your body now slowly bend at your left knee 
turn towards the right side and then with help of both hands sit comfortably in any meditative posture it's time to make a pledge to yourself take a resolution to improve one thing in your life today add on a good habit and be thankful for the day and the learnings you had today you are definitely a better person from yesterday make your resolution and promise yourself that you will complete it Let's conclude the session with Shanti Mantra. Sarve bhavantu sukhinaha Sarve santu niramaya Sarve bhadrani pashyantu Ma kashche dukha bhagave Om Shanti 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 Now slowly take your hands at the back and bow down to the mother earth Thank her for allowing you to practice yoga Now slowly inhale and come up Now become aware of your surroundings. Feel the changes after all the practices. Become aware of yourself and the people around you. And then when you are comfortable, open your eyes with a smile. So in today's session, we completed the yoga for spine. and head and that includes facial yoga in today's session we started with the joint rotation and then we came to a series of asanas and those asanas focus on different segments of spine so we have activated the segments of spine to make them healthier and then slowly we moved towards the head and then at the end by the end of the session we focused on the head and the sounds that we made through the humming sound the makara sound it generates the vibrations that gives a massaging effect to the head and you know to the brain and that helps you to feel more active so the energy that has in our body it starts to move upwards and you know by the end of the series by the end of the session you feel there is something in your head that that you know you can feel the energy at your head so you can follow the session at your home and if you want to know more about such sessions such routines you can contact me and i'll share my contact details in the description thank you